Welcome back. You're watching Commodity Champions. We now turn our focus to the domestic cotton market and joining us for that is Prabhu Damodaran. He's head of Textpreneurs Federation. Mr. Damodaran, hi. Thank you so much for your time. We heard on what the international guests had to say on cotton, textile and the overall global industry there. What is your sense? Because it has been a difficult time for India as well with what the prices have done. What, first of all, how are you looking at the prices going forward? Uh, good afternoon. Actually, we witnessed uh, one of the uh, painful quarters uh, uh, ending September, mm. both in terms of uh, utilization levels as well as uh, margin front. And as you know that the last cotton year, due to robust goods demand and abundant liquidity, artificially we witnessed artificially elevated prices. You know, in, it's kind of a bull whip effect. If we have 10% more demand, cotton can show a kind of a uh, bull run and now the reverse is happening. Mm. See, uh, normally uh, in the past, in many bull runs, we witnessed that many commodities used to settle down at 10% higher than the pre-bull run levels. Okay. That means now we are expecting 55,000 to 60,000 range of prices for Indian cotton. Mm. That may be the range for short term, ma'am. Mm. As you said, it has been a difficult time and this quarter clearly has seen the highs and the lows and uh, has been making records of all sense. But what about the demand really? Because we do understand that for the Indian markets or for the international markets, it isn't really a festive time for the textile as an industry. Because when you look at the domestic demand or the textile exports, both the numbers have been on the weaker side. See, actually the multiple reasons are playing out together this time. Particularly the developed markets like U.S., Inventory readjustment is happening. Just for an example, during the peak of the crisis last year, China to US, it taken around for 84 days of time for transit. Now they are getting in 40 days time. Mm. So it's very natural for uh, retailers to reduce the 40 days inventory in the system. And they are also facing lower consumer sentiment, higher level of inventory. So it is not the matter of demand contraction more of a inventory adjustment is happening in Europe, in US market. But in Europe, it is reverse. Really, we are witnessing demand contraction. Uh, it will take another two, three quarters for them to recover. And third, domestic market, robust sales are happening in retail. We are getting uh, updates from all the retailers uh, regarding the uh, good festival sales happening now. Only thing is, everyone knows in domestic prices are going to correct cotton prices, everyone keeping 60, 65,000 in mind, mm. why should we purchase now? So they are all postponing the purchases. That is creating a vacuum. You know that in India, the whole textile fashion trade works from seven months to 11 months inventory period. During the bull market, due to expectation of increasing prices, retailers, everyone in the system used to build stock and take the inventory level to 11 months. Mm. And now the contraction times, people used to shrink their inventory. The whole system works on hand to mouth inventory to the tune of seven months. I'm talking about fiber to retail level. Okay. Various stages, everyone have their different level of inventory. Mm. So in this correct, corrective, uh, like kind of a price correction, mm. automatically people used to postpone this per, per their purchases. Right. So I think post Diwali, things will change because uh, after seeing robust sales in domestic market, people will come back for buying. At the same time, in, in terms of spinning mills, Spinning mills are operating at very, very low utilization level, around 40 to 50 percent in many states. Some states are operating at 50 to 60 percent. This time we are witnessing a very new trend. Pre-COVID period, irrespective of market, people used to run the mills and even make losses. Hmm. Now everyone is working on profitability, like a cash flow basis. If the okay. market is not doing well, they are reducing the utilization and they are adjusting the supply and demand in a very calibrated manner Understood. so demand comes slowly gradually mills will step up so that will keep a price check on cotton prices understood so what you're saying is that in a month we will see indian demand pick up and because of the readjustment that the international markets are looking at it might perhaps take a couple of quarters or more but tell us when we are looking at demand right now and as you said the business the way of doing business also seems to be changing what kind of a demand growth is the industry looking for right now for this quarter for the next uh, for 2023 the first calendar quarter there as well 
on the, the current quarter we may not see the whatever the october to december quarter we may not see a robust demand in any part of the world okay. now the demand destruction to we need to move towards demand normalization hmm. one of our member yesterday told his us buyer indicated that they will move towards pre covid level of ordering in the first quarter of next uh, calendar year so we are seeing some kind of a demand normalization coming back of calibrated buying from us middle east and australian markets as well as domestic market europe will take another one or two quarters because they are seeing first time historic inflation they are all in shock every day they are some kind of a turbulence happening in those markets mm. so it will take some more time for them to come back okay now the very very important factor in the uh, in the overall scheme of things long term outlook is very good see it's a, now the in demand normalized world it is a matter of who is gaining market share for from the available business us imports around 8 lakh 8 lakh crore worth of apparels every year we have around 6% share china plus one opportunity is real one of our member visited multiple buyers in the american market he witnessed a very new trend many american buyers appointed exclusive sourcing professionals to keep uh, to develop alternate sourcing destinations rather than china so the trend is real only thing we need to build scale we need to invest in capabilities we need to build our competitiveness to grab the market share so textile will be a long term story it will take another for example yesterday apple some of the analyst mentioned if they want to take 10 to 20% uh, manufacturing out of china it take around 7 8 years the same story for textile also we are at 37 billion dollar exports uh, uh, china is with uh, 300 billion dollar so long way to go gradual steady shift will happen over a period of time i agree and raw material competitiveness also very very important to capitalize that opportunity i get that point yes i mean as you said from demand destruction to demand normalization is what we are trying to achieve this time around and then of course demand growth is something that we'll talk about but i take your point that you say that india perhaps will bounce back faster and then europe and then the rest of the developing world developed world is uh, where we will see demand for this coming back thank you so much mr damodaran for joining us and giving us that sense but with that it's time up on this edition of commodity champions thank you for watching